I'm St. Sylvanians, and I make videos about Sylvanian families, also known as Calico Critters. And today, I'm going to be opening a new family, which is comprised of these Border Collie figures, and they are called the Fletchers. I'll also review the figures and compare them to others in my collection, so you can decide if you want to buy them yourself. So here's my version. They're limited edition from Epoch, but we don't need to spend lots of time looking at the box, so let's get them opened. There have been several versions of the Border Collie family, but they've all kept the name Fletcher. They were first released in the UK in 2011 by Flair as a four-figure family set with separate twins. In this version, the parents, children and babies all have slightly different face markings. It might just be the photo, but I think this version looked kind of startled, and these are probably my least favourite, but maybe if I saw them in person I'd like them more. The next release was by Epoch in 2014, and they have flat hands. The family otherwise looked the same as the previous version, but the markings on the twins are ever so slightly different. And the latest version is the one I now own. This was again released by Epoch as part of the 35th anniversary of Sylvanian families in 2020. The family has a number of differences to previous ones. Firstly, the mould is different, and their faces have less texture on the sides. Second, the markings are standardised, with all members of the family having the same colouring. And finally, their clothes are slightly different. Around this time, Epoch started removing aprons from all of the mother's outfits, and they also replaced the ribbons, which were on the sister and twins' clothes, with elastic. There are also a few Calico Critters versions, which is the name given to Sylvanian families in North America. They look very similar to the Sylvanian families' versions released at the same time, except they are given different names. So let's go through the figures. The mother is called Petunia, and she wears a white dress with blue and brown flowers on, and she's in the era of figures where the mothers don't have aprons. Next is the father, named Stanley. His clothes are blue trousers with a blue and green check shirt. The shirt also has a yellow ribbon tie. Onto the brother, called Scott Fletcher, he wears a pair of green and white striped trousers with green elastic braces and blue buttons. I really like the colours, and this style of outfit is very reminiscent of the original clothes the brother figures used to wear. And that's true of Jodie Fletcher, the sister figure, too. She wears a purple tartan dress with lace and a bead. The old style of these dresses used to be held up with ribbon, but this elastic does look neater. Onto the babies. Twin girl Mia Fletcher is in the crawling pose, and she wears the standard pink outfit. Her twin brother Jeremy is in the sitting pose. Again, he's wearing the usual outfit for the Estelle of Babies, just in blue colours. And here they are all together. I don't think the outfits work that cohesively together, but I do like them all individually. Let's take a closer look at the figures. Their bodies are all a solid white colour, which is typical as Sylvanian families don't tend to make their bodies patterned or with different coloured limbs. I think the Fletchers look similar to the Farthing Ochre Dogs. Here are the brother figures to compare. The head shapes both have the textured fur on the sides of their faces, although it's a little harder to see in black on the Fletcher Dog. They're not completely identical, and they do have different ear shapes. Black markings have an unusual texture. It's rougher than the white parts, and unlike most Sylvanian families, and really stuck out to me when I first looked at these figures in detail. So I'm going to compare them to other figures which have black fur. The Midnight Black Cat is very soft all over, as is the latest version of the Moles, although comparing them to the others they look a dark grey rather than black. The patches on the Buttercup Fusion Cows are perhaps slightly rougher than the white parts, but not overly so. I only have the new Waddle Penguin Babies, and there's maybe a different texture on their heads as well. The newest version of the Pookie Pandas have a soft body, and the white parts of their head are very soft too, but the weird kind of rough texture is on their ears like the Border Collies. I definitely noticed it more with these figures, as it covers more of their head than the ears of the pandas. It's not really an issue for me, as I just keep my figures on display, but worth noting if you like holding or playing with them, as they definitely do feel different to most of the Sylvanians. 
these are dogs, so they need to have tails. As always, the babies don't have tails, so I'm just going to look at the adults and children. The tails are a creamy white colour. They're quite large and fluffy, but narrow at the top. They're pretty much identical to the chiffon dogs. So here is Petunia with Delia Doherty, and Scott with David Doherty. Here in the UK, the Border Collies are currently exclusive to the toy shop Smiths. They're priced at £21.99, which is quite expensive compared to regular families. But that being said, you are getting six figures with no need to buy the separate twins, so the price isn't too bad. These are apparently limited edition and were released as part of the 35th anniversary of Sylvanian families in 2020. But that was three years ago now, so they don't seem to be too limited. And that is the Fletcher Border Collie family. I'm glad to have these in my collection and they look great in my park setup. Do you own any of the versions of this family or would you like to? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching if you've made it to the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Sylvanian videos and news.